high one, high Karina in my headway pre-intermediate. Okay, so we're now into the final week of term and in today's video I am doing literally a quick review of what we have done this term. Now the main focus of today's lesson is to go through the grammar that we've done which is past perfect, passive and present perfect continuous. I'm going to just summarize it and you can go over it and any activities or questions that you just still don't understand in the book please hes don't hesitate to contact me. I will also explain the activities that I want you to complete during the Easter break, which is focusing more on your writing skills. Okay, so the first thing I need you to do is open your books, which is your Headway Pre-Intermediate Books, this book here, to page 100, 144 and 145. So 144 and 145. Okay. All right, so, okay, so I want to go, just go through very quickly about past perfect. So past perfect is when we use, how is it formed? We use had and past participle. So had and past participle. And if the regular verbs are in past participle, it's always ed, same as it would be in past simple. If it's regular verbs irregular, it's not always the case. There are many commonly regular verbs and on page 158, you will have that list at the back of your book. So for example, for example, you could say she, she'd arrived or she had arrived or I hadn't arrived. So that's using positive and negative. So for example, if you're using the question like had, you go like had she left already or had they left already? Had they left already? That's using past perfect. Yes, I had. No, they hadn't. So that's using past perfect and positive and negative in question form two. When we use past perfect, we use it to express an action in the past which happened before another past action. So it's like literally a double past. So what's happened and an action that's happened in the past has happened before another action. So when I arrived at the theatre, the play had already started. Okay. Just remember that you use past simple to express actions in the order that they happened. So you express them in the order that they happened, we use past simple to express that. So for example, action one, the bear went to action two, the man came down from the tree. Whereas another one says, John left the party, action one, I arrived. So, and if they are expressed in past perfect, you would say, the man came down from the tree after the bear had left, the bear had gone. Oh, I do apologise. And when I arrived at the party, John had left. So there is two different ways of approaching that action. If it is clear that one action was completed before, it isn't necessary to use past perfect. So for example, I tidied up after everyone went home or I tidied up after everyone had gone home. Okay. So in certain instances, it's not, it's not, you don't have to always use past perfect. Okay, just remember as well, so that's one piece of grammar that was really, really important. Just remember also to briefly read over conjunctions and so such, so many and so much and how we use them. So conjunctions, we use them to join sentences, just mainly to join sentences in different ways. So just remember to read that as a reference. And also with so, such as, so many and so much, we use it for emphasising an adjective or a noun. Okay, so they are used more in spoken than in written English. So if you're writing, you don't tend to use them. But when you're speaking, absolutely. So for example, he works so hard. It's stronger than he works very hard. Okay, now, very quickly, I'm going to go through another important point, which is passive. Now, this was quite difficult when we went through it the first time, but you gradually got the hang of it. It's formed with um, different forms of am, is, and are, verb to be, was and where, which is the verb to be in past, has or has been, have been in present perfect, or will in future form with ed or a past participle. Okay, The past participle of regular verbs always ends in ed, like I said before. There are many common irregular past participles. So if we use it in present, for example, English is spoken all over the world, or where's the coffee gone? 
where's the coffee grown rather where's the coffee grown do you apologize so it wasn't where's the coffee gone where has where is the coffee grown but if we use it in past we say they weren't injured in the accident or when was television invented okay so just be very careful when we use past form present perfect we use the bank's been the bank's been robbed uh oh so has been robbed or we haven't been invited to the wedding will the cars will be sold in the uk also will landline phones be replaced by mobiles yes they will no they won't okay so there's another example just remember that when you use passive to be an ed is used after modal auxiliary verbs and other verbs which are followed by an infinitive so be very very aware of how we use that as well so for example driving should be banned in city centers the house is going to be knocked down in passive, the rules for tenses and how they are used in the passive are the same as they are in the active. So present simple is used to express habit. My car is serviced regularly. Past simple is to express the finished, finished action, action in the past. America was discovered by Christopher Columbus. Or present perfect to express an action which began in the past and continues in the present. So smartphones have been sold since 2007. We all should have smartphones now. Most people do. Okay. The ob always remember that the object of an active verb becomes the subject of a passive verb. And notice the use of by in a sentence. So literally, the sentence will flip. It will flip the other way around. So Shakespeare wrote Hamlet, which means Hamlet being the object. But then if you switch it to the passive, it's Hamlet was written by Shakespeare. So there is the active and a passive sentence in one. Just remember that the passive is not just another way of expressing the same sentence in the active. We choose the active or the passive depending on which we are more interested in. So for example, if you say it with Hamlet, Hamlet was written in 1600, means we're more interested in Hamlet, or Shakespeare wrote Hamlet in 1600, meaning you're more interested in who has written this as well. But always remember the subject of an active sentence is not mentioned in the passive sentence if it is not really important. So people, for example, an active people speak German in parts of Italy, in the parts of Italy, and in the passive German is spoken in parts of Italy. Okay, so you can see there's a difference there. And just to go through very very quickly as well, present perfect continuous as well. Now, we did present perfect earlier in the book and also last year as well. So present perfect continuous is the same like with present perfect. Has or have plus past participle. In this case, it's has or have been plus ing. Okay, so ing in the present participle. So for example, I haven't been working. Or we have been working. Or he hasn't been working. So there's different ways you can say that. But if you're using it in a question, you say how long, have or has, depending on the person. So if it's have, it's I, you, we, they, or has, he, she, or it, been working, okay? How do we use it? We use the present perfect continuous when to express an activity which began in the past, but it keeps going in the present. It's been raining for days. At this moment, it's been, it has been sunny for days. It's been... Been, whoops, made a little, made a little mistake. It's been ready for days. It is being warming for days, for example. To refer to an activity with a result in the present, I'm hot because I've been running. I run all the time. Well, most of the time. Mm, little. Or I haven't got any money because I've been shopping. So there's a, another example we're using present perfect continuous. Just remember that sometimes there's little or no difference in the meaning between present perfect and present perfect continuous. So how long have you worked here or how long have you been working here? Practically the same meaning. Okay. Two, with some verbs that have the idea of a long of a long time. Wait, work, learn, travel and play. Idea of a long time. So these words can be often found in present perfect continuous. I've been waiting for hours. I've been traveling for hours. Okay, so that's the way we use that as well. And some verbs don't have the idea of a long time. So, for example, start, die, lose, break and stop. So, for example, I've, 
bought a new dress using buy, it's unusual to find these in the present perfect continuous. You tend to say them in more present perfect simple. For example, or my radio's broken using past using a participle rather than a base form or a past simple form rather. With present perfect continuous, we use verbs that express a state, but normally are not found in present perfect continuous. So we've known each other for a few weeks. Or in my case, we've known each other for four and a half years. That's in regards to me and my partner. We've known each other four and a half years. And if the sentence gives a number or a quantity, the present perfect symbol is used. So the continuous is not possible. I have been writing emails all morning. I've written 20. Okay, so that's how you don't say not I have been writing 20. It doesn't work. So you need to be able to differentiate between the two. Okay. There are a few writing activities that I want you to complete, okay, before I finish this lesson. On page one, I need you to look at page 114, okay, which is writing about a book or a film. So you complete the activities in page 114, which is talking about film. Also to look at 115, discussing pros and cons, so page 115. In which you can add, I which your task will be to add ideas to the text. Something which I will discuss a little bit more on Wednesday's final lesson. And finally, one one six, form filling, being able to write an application. Okay, so writing an application. What I want you to do with the with page one one four, one one five, and one one six, I want you to complete all the activities just to practice writing skills, and your work. You can take a photo of your writing and send it to me or type your writing, send it to me and I can correct it. Okay, guys, that's the end of today's very, very much review lesson. On Wednesday, I'm going through ideas for Trinity, Trinity 4, and discussing all the different things about it and also the right tasks in more detail. Okay, see you soon. Stay well, be healthy and see you soon. Bye.